bright duty every student matters hello learners welcome to your math lesson here today we are going to learn in decimals about adding and subtracting of decimal numbers by the end of the class you will be comfortable with adding the decimal numbers and subtracting the decimal numbers so here let us start here with a question which says addition of decimal numbers and when we say that adding decimal numbers what do we mean it means to add the decimal numbers right we can add them like we add the whole numbers together then the decimal numbers should remain at a place like the decimal point should be in a line and then the decimal numbers should be exactly as you see them in the place value chart okay so it means that we have to line up the decimal point in each number while writing them and then add them as a whole number so you probably must be thinking that why do are we even need why do we even need to learn about these decimal numbers their addition and their subtraction so the basic reason why you are learning this is that in your daily life you do deal with decimal numbers so much that you always need to learn about them like as we talked about in money in lengths in weight everywhere you see the decimal numbers you are dealing with so it is good to know that how you're going to add these numbers because addition and subtraction is very much a part of your everyday life right so let us begin with the first example it is showing you how you are supposed to add these numbers the number is 22.3 and 34.1 right so it is saying that you write the numbers one below the other and then you simply add them but what you need to care about is that the decimal points should be lined up as you can see here that 22.3 and 34.1 the holes are sitting together and then the decimal point is lined up and then the number sitting at the tenths place is lined up together so adding these two numbers we get the answer as 56.4 okay now let us see another example here you can see that one of the number that is given it is 1.234 and the other number that you see is 4.1 right so let me just make this image a bit bigger right so here you can see that first number when we have placed it here in order to add it so we see that the first number is basically 1.234 right and the other number is just 4.1 that is the number is having only number till the tenths place whereas the other number the first number that is 1.234 is still the thousands place so it is saying there are three numbers after the decimal point in one number and one number after the decimal in the other number so we should not get confused and write the numbers by lining up the decimal point in both the numbers then add them together so how we add them just see here 1 and 4 they are the whole numbers given so they are together then we have the decimal point and then we have got the numbers that are after the decimal point and we add them so 4 comes here and then we have got a 3 and then 2 added to 1 is 3 and then 1 added to 5 is 1 uh, added to 4 is 5 and the decimal point remains at its place okay now let us try another question and you will notice that eventually we will solve many questions related to this you will be more confident okay so let us just understand what is going on then we'll do the questions then we'll be very much comfortable it is saying that another way way in which you can add these numbers is to use a place value chart okay so that it will be easy to identify how to write the numbers so we are using the same numbers here at the first look at the first number the second number that is 4.1 okay so here the 4 is sitting at the ones place and 1 is sitting after the decimal point so it is at the tens place right so here you can see a 4 this is a 4 here and this is a 1 in the next number we have 1.234 the numbers are actually wrong so let me just correct these numbers so here it will be a 1 then it is point so 2 is sitting at the tens place then we have got a 3 which is sitting at the hundreds place and then we have got a 4 right so this is written correctly just a single digit was mistaken now what do we do we add these numbers so let us add these numbers 0 added to 4 is 4 0 added to 3 it is a 3 1 added to 2 is a 3 and 4 added to 1 is 
Now you see 5 is sitting at the 1's place, so we write the answer as 5. Then we have got 3 at the 10's place, so it will go after the decimal point at the 10's place. Then 3 comes at the 100's place and 4 comes at the 1000's place. So this is same as we have just worked here. The answer is same. So these are just two methods. Let us try a question by putting these numbers in the place value charts. Okay. So here we need to find the sum of 0 0.29 and 0 0.36. Clearly what we see the number sitting at the one space is 0 and 0. In the first number, this number sitting in the tenths place is 2 and the number sitting at the hundredths place is 9. In the next one, the number sitting at the tenths place is 3 and the number sitting at the hundredths place is 6. So how we add them? We just add them simply by working out the hundredths. We always add from the right to the left side, right? So 9 added to 6 is 15. So we carry the 1 to the tenths place like you do your normal addition questions. It's very much simple. Then 2 added to 3 is 5. I have the 1, it's 6. And then 0 remains itself. So the answer that we have got is 0 0.65. Clear? Here let's write the answer 0 0.65. Now let's try the next one. It is 0 0.7 point plus 0 0.08. So 0 at the 1's place, so here we put a 0, then at the 10's place we have got a 7, then we have 0 at the 1's place in the second number, 0 at the 10's place and 0, 8 at the 100's place. So as we can see that we don't have any uh, number at the 100's place in the first number, so we want to, uh, if you want to equate the two numbers, we can write a 0 as well, it won't make any difference in the number. Now let us add these two numbers. So 0 added to 8 is 8, 7 added to 0 is 7, 0 added to 0 is 0. So let us write the answer 0 0.78. This is the answer. Okay, let's try two more questions with the place value charts. Then I'm sure we can add them directly. So here, let's put the numbers in the place value charts. 1, 5, 4, 1, 8, 0. Adding them like we do in the normal questions. So 4 added to 0 is 4. 8 plus uh, 5 is 13. So we put a 1 here. We make like we move it to the next number. And then here we are left with 3. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 itself. Now let's write the number. It is 3.34. Clear? The last one here with the place value chart is 2.66 and 1.85, right? So 6 added to 5 is 11, right? I hope this is clear. Then we have 8 added to 6. So it is 14 plus 1 is 15. So 1 goes here and here comes 1, 5, right? Then we have got 2 plus 1 plus 1, so it is Clear? Let us write this number using the decimal point. So here it is 4.51. Moving ahead, let us solve a word problem where we are going to add the decimal numbers in a word problem. Okay? So it says Lata spent 9.50 for borrowing this much rupees for buying a pen and rupees 2.50 for one pencil. How much money did she spend? So here, if you see, uh, we have read this as rupees 9.50. If we want, we can also read this as nine rupees and 50 paise. And this is for buying a pen. And two rupees 50 paise, this is for buying one pencil, okay? So let us write down how we can add, how much did she spend? So the total amount that she has spent, let us calculate that. So Lata spent on pen is equal to 9 rupees and 50 paise, right? Then Lata spent on pencil, it is 2 rupees and 50 paise, is that right? Now how much money did she spend in total? Okay, so 
total money total amount spent is equal to so what do we need to do we need to simply add the two numbers that is we have to add 9.50 to 2.50 and how we add them we can simply write them as we write the numbers in addition that is 9.50 and 2.50 we add them together 0 is 0 5 added to 5 is 0 again carrying the 1 so 10 and 12 so the answer is the total amount that she has spent is 12 rupees either you could just simply write 12 it is also correct or you put the decimal point and put two zeros that is also correct as we said after the decimal point the number of zeros you put has got no value Okay, till the time there is not a, any other valid number after it. Now moving to the next question here. It says a Samson travelled 5 kilometers 52 meters by bus, 2 kilometers 265 meters by car and the rest 1 kilometer 30 meters he walked. How much a distance did he travel in all? So how much distance he travelled in all means we need to again find the total of it all. So let us write down. Here can you see that the numbers that are given it is 5 kilometers and 52 meters, 2 kilometers, 265 meters. So these numbers they are with the different units. I hope you remember how we learned about the conversions of these numbers into decimals by getting them into a single unit. So here it's the unit of measuring lengths, right? Now let's write it down. So Samson traveled by bus. So let us write down how much he has traveled by bus. So it is 5 kilometers and 52 meters. 5 kilometers and 52 meters. Now can you convert 5 kilometers and 52 meters into kilometers? We can just write the same, like the same number should always be in decimals if we are adding them and make sure that you put the same unit, okay? If you are adding them, either you add them separately or then you convert it into a single unit or you can single, change it into a single unit and then you can write your answer. Either ways you are correct to do. Here we are going to first convert it into kilometers. So 5 kilometers is 5 kilometers itself. So what can we do with 52 meters? I hope you remember in one kilometer there are 1000 meters. So we are dividing 52 by 1000. So it will be 5.052 kilometers. So I hope it's clear how we have converted kilometer and meter into just a single unit of kilometers. Let's do the next one that is how much distance he has traveled by car. So I'm just writing by car. He has traveled 2 kilometers 265 meters. I'm directly writing this into kilometers. So it is 2.265 kilometers. I hope you do remember why I'm writing this. Dividing 265 meters by 1000 gives the answer in kilometers. Okay. Now the last one was um, he traveled by walking. So by walk he has traveled. 1 kilometers and 30 meters. So again converting the whole into kilometers. So now what do we need to do? We need to find the total distance, right? So total distance we can calculate by simply adding these numbers. Let us add these numbers. We need to just add these three numbers, right? These three numbers are required to be added. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Then 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 added to 3 is 14. So here comes the 1 and here goes the 4. So 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the answer is he has traveled 8 kilometers, 8.347 kilometers. And if we want to write this answer into kilometers and meters, we can say that he has traveled, I'm just writing it here. He has traveled 8 kilometers and 347 meters. I hope this is clear. How we have converted first from kilometers and meters to kilometers itself and then we have changed our answer from kilometers to kilometers and meters again. So all upon you but just be careful with the decimal points with the units conversion or else you're good to go.
Now, let us do this question. It says Rahul bought 4 kg, 90 gram, 4 kilogram, 90 gram of apples, then 2 kilograms and 60 grams of grapes and 5 kilograms or 300 grams of mangoes. We need to find the total weight of the fruits that he bought. So again, what is the conversion between kilogram and gram? 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams, right? I hope this is what we remember from the last class. Now let us write down what is the total amount of fruits. So apples is 2 is 4 kilograms and 90 grams. Let us write it in kilograms. So it is 4.090 and this is in kilograms, right? Then we have got grapes and for grapes it is 2.060 and this is again in kilograms and then we have got mangoes and mangoes is 5.300 this is in kilograms so it's 5 kilogram and 300 grams so it is 5.300 kilograms okay i hope this much part is very much clear how we are converting the numbers now let us add these numbers so it is 0 9 plus 6 is 6, 15 so we put the one here 5 here this is a 4 and then 9 10 11 so the total amount is 11.5 450 kgs or we can write this as or 11 kg 450 grams. I hope this makes it clear.